Good morning, everyone. Just thought I'd just film a little bit and see how this would go. Um, I had this table set up a week ago last Saturday to film, and uh, I hate to say, but we had a major uh, or tornado that went through our little town, and it caused us to lose our electricity out here where we live. It passed a mile from my home, but it was devastation across my road, and uh, thank God it did not harm us, but oh my goodness, it's such a disaster where it did harm those people's homes, and no one was killed, but there were some injuries, and it was quite a ride out when I was home alone and in a closet uh, waiting on that storm to pass because we were getting all kinds of warnings because they saw it on the ground, and it was quite large as it uh, passed close to my home. But anyway, uh, by the grace of God, everything's still good around here. And I just left this up because I decided, well, I might as well film this. And, you know, we smile, believe, and we create. And our gratitude is always because Jesus has given me the hope and the plan that I can keep on doing something. And... Uh, I try to work for him mostly, but, you know, we do have our little thoughts of things we like to create, and he made us so, so that we could create. Anyway, this table, I'm going to go ahead and film some of the things that are here, and uh, I'm going to sit down in just a minute, but I wanted uh, you to see some of the stuff that I had already laid out. Let me see if I can get out and get this old quilt. I have a lot of beautiful old quilt pieces. And this is, I always tell people, I love feed sacks. Oh my goodness, I love the vintage material. Isn't that just beautiful? I've decorated some in my room with the old quilts. I've hid some stuff under them. <laughs> you know, we get so much stuff, then we wonder what we do with it. This is an old crochet doily I have set up to cut up because see, you see the hole in it. And uh, I just just get things ready, and then I never get it done. <laughs> but I had an excuse for that no doing, and uh, that procrastinate now is one of my favorite things to look at while I'm trying to catch up or do something. I always have a lot of projects going. Mostly they're not crafty, but I'm one of these kind of people that I like to decorate all over my house decorate uh, out in my yard, which is desperately needing it because last year I was in that situation where I couldn't walk. My knee was giving me so much uh, fits that I was just on a cane, but thank the Lord that's over with and I'm back to uh, feeling good and can walk real good. It takes me a little while to get up sometimes. I'm still, you know, not got a perfect knee, probably got a little arthritis in it. Who knows what it is, but Anyway, uh, I just wanted to come on and say that I haven't forgot about YouTube. I was just thinking the other day why I don't keep YouTube, you know, keep video in my, everybody says they miss me, but, you know, I, I don't know uh, whether it's my age or if it's uh, just, got a lot of things going on. I have a project right now I want to do, y'all, and it's unreal in a storage room. Uh, I wanted to make it into a darling place of putting all my vintage stuff so I could clear out some of the stuff in my home, and everybody has just laughed at Granny, and then I had one granddaughter says, if you do that, I'll please will me that storage room, because she knows I just decorate it to the T, and, uh, I don't know, I, they call them the she sheds, and I went, that's kind of a tricky word. <laughs> the lady craft uh, cave? Uh, well, I don't know whether I'd call it a craft cave. It would be more like a vintage uh, uh, room, and uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try anyway. I had my son, my youngest son was here last this past weekend, and 
he came to visit me for a short while and he said well we could put a screened in porch across the front of that and and we could do this and you could i have a, i need a new air conditioner in that room so he said i could put that in for you well duh he said go get you a dumpster and d unload everything well that was a big laugh i laughed at that one because of the fact is that there's treasures in there. If it had been hunting or tool stuff, he'd have probably said, let me back my truck up. But he couldn't see the value of what I thought was treasures. It's just a lot of stuff that's left over from when I was uh, moved here. I had a lot larger, it seemed like larger home. I don't know whether it was larger or just a different arrange. But anyway, it was things that I had left over and I did not know what to do with. Well, I'm just talking away and not showing anything. Here's this uh, beautiful, I, you know, I was making this little shabby. The last time I showed, I made a, a shabby bow, I guess you'd call it. I said flower sometime, and but I finished it. And I thought that turned out so pretty. Have I made another one? No. But I made one. <laughs> with my little bow maker I, I laughed I had that little bow maker and then I think another lady uh Patty said she went and bought the both of them and I said I hope she's been making them anyway I love doing things I just don't get everything done I picked this up out of some uh stuff uh stuff listen to that well it is stuff to some people out of some of my uh supplies and i went oh i forgot i made that now i made that over 10 now when i say 10 years ago hun it was 10 years ago because i wasn't even in this home and uh i think it was some of my first little crafting uh supplies that i was doing and i might have re uh used to have it in a journal but i might have even redone it a little bit when i put it in that journal but i i just freehand cut that uh it was kind of like a tag. I was into tag making, and that was going to be a dress form tag. Well, it wasn't perfectly cut, but I do know I had fun decorating it, and I used to get uh, things off of uh, eBay, where now we buy them mostly off of Etsy. Uh, they used to have where you could download digital, but they don't do that on eBay, and just some different things that was on here. And then... I love this book here. Let's see if I can reach across and get it without too much trouble. I just bought this the other day, and uh, I said that fit me. It's really a, uh, uh, probably a prayer journal, but I love the saying on it. There is beauty to be found in the middle of a mess. Undone beautiful. And it's got some beautiful pages in it. I uh, was one that just see the little cross that's in there and uh, it's got Bible verses on each page and then there's this lady wrote a little uh, saying down and it, I mean kind of like a well let's see that one might be a no it's it's her probably her quote or her written things I was just excited when I got home. I didn't realize it was had all this in it. And when I got home with it, I went, that is just beautiful. And uh, and then Living Testament, I think, or Bible. And I, I usually read out of the King James, so that was a different saying than that one. But anyway, I just thought that was so pretty. And I really liked that. And I guess y'all noticed my beautiful, I bought a, uh, a I don't know if you can see it, uh, one of those poster boards to lay down over my what I really work on on the table when I'm videoing. Let me make sure I'm doing my time. Um, I have two journals that I want to uh, video and this is one of them. I just finished this one up oh after the first of the year. It's been a while and I don't know why I haven't shown it yet. It's real cute. It's made out of a paper sack uh, kind of a, like a lunch bag type. It was white, and I had that forever. <laughs> and then I made this one right before Christmas. And I know y'all saw how I had done the stamps. Well, this book here, when I got it out, it was called The Blue Bird of Happiness. It is the cutest little book that I believe I have read in a long time. It's not, it's just a, kind of like a fairy story. 
but uh, it's beautiful and it went along with what it's just like it just came together and uh, I just thought everything in this just turned out uh, you know I had stamped all this and watercolored it and painted it and spray painted all these pages and put glitter on them and just had fun and then I made all these little snippets I know I showed those once and uh, then there's one of my painting papers. <laughs> I guess you say it might be spray. And then I just took a brush and went over it. And then I know y'all saw these that my daughter made. And I made uh, a few of these uh, popsicle sticks. And I, or tongue compre uh, depressors. These are the bigger ones. But I call them craft sticks. And this one just fit in here as a bookmark. This book is the cutest book. It talks about a bluebird and uh, unhappiness was this uh, story in it about a king and it was just the cutest story and it has illustration like a little kid drew it and it and it goes all the way through until this little bird finds this bell and brings it back and when that bell rings everybody gets happy and I saved the pages in case I ever wanted to journal in it. And then this was another page that was in there. And I made this out of an old envelope and uh, handmade with love. And then I added all this beautiful little ephemera, ephemera, well, however you say that, to it. And that's joy to the world. And I know this is not Christmas, but I did this right. Just, just never did finish it. And I added a little page that's got notes. I buy a lot of that. Then I made this little tag up and uh, I'm not sure this tag probably came out of a kit I bought from off of uh, Etsy and then I love this one here winter wonderland <laughs> and I stamped that glittered it added that snow to the bottom and this is Tim Holtz paper doll and I just love that and then here was a I uh, pu uh, punched that out love and the birds, and this, uh, I've got that glued down, and it's a uh, cute little tag of Tim Holtz. And then I just stamped those trees. I didn't color those, and then I thought this was so sweet. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And there's the sleigh, uh, Santa and his sleigh going across. And then there's an old, my thing is, the old log cabin. Oh, if I ever told y'all the story about the log cabin that I always dreamed I'd have. And, uh. That one time we were going to buy one, but yet <laughs> when we found out how much you had to uh, take care of them or have one built, uh, we we decided against it. We brought we bought a brick home, but uh, they need a lot of maintenance in Texas. And at that time, my husband was sick, and so we decided that that wouldn't be a good thing for me to have to keep up. But sometimes I wish he used to tell me he was going to build me one. And we had a uh, on our acreage, we had a little. A small pond or tank in the back and he was going to build me a small one back there but life didn't didn't work out that way but he always said he'd build me a log cabin well maybe one day the lord will take me to a home and i'll have me a beautiful log cabin <laughs> naughty and nice and that was a little washi tape and that merry christmas and i know that this is just an old little uh story of Christmas and I could have saved this till July and showed it but I just loved how this page front page came out a joyous Christmas and this just went and that's Tim Holtz uh, paper uh, ephemera and and this is something I bought one time from Julie uh, and we don't ever see her on uh, a paper uh, garden I think I can't remember her title but anyway, she had a little store, and I think she still has that for sale on Z um, uh, Zibit. She still has her store. I haven't checked it out lately since Christmas, but I sometimes buy from her. Well, anyway, let me get back over here, lay that down, and let's see where we're at. Well, I guess I better shut up and stay uh, <laughs> and quit this because I'm going to get too much to upload. All right. Y'all stay extra safe in Jesus, and I will be back. And bye-bye now.